Hey guys. <coughs> what? Rewind. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is just going to be another eye look tutorial here. Um, as I mentioned before, I have some foundation in my hair. As I mentioned in my previous video, I basically need new foundation, concealer, powder, bronzer to do like a full makeup tutorial because I just feel like my videos have been the same foundation wise, like face wise, not eye look wise, but face wise, they've pretty much been the same routine, same foundation, same powder, same concealer, same bronzer, like I need new sh it. So once I get that new sh it, then I can do a more um, full face tutorial. For the time being, I am going to do more eye looks. I actually need to run some errands today, so that means vlogging. And what I mean by errands, I mean just going to Starbucks, getting a coffee, and then going to Target. Anybody else? Anybody else that way? No? Just me? Okay. Anyways, let's just go ahead and jump right into this. This is going to be a voiceover because I am currently stuck on this show called Blacklist, and I am almost done finishing season five, so um, I need to finish that. So, enjoy. So to start off, I'm going into the Morphe... 35S palette, I believe, oh no, 35R palette, picking up the brown shade and using this color as my transition shade. I haven't used this palette much and I feel very ashamed because there is some gorgeous shades in this palette and this look made me more inspired. So next I'm going to take the Anastasia Subculture palette, pick up the green color in there called Destiny and we're going to blend this into the crease. And the subculture palette can be a little bit pit more pigmented, so I would definitely go in with a light hand and then work your way up um, because it's definitely harder to put a lot of eyeshadow and try to blend it out versus starting off by little and building up. Next, I'm going to take this shade in the Jaclyn Hill Armed and Gorgeous palette, and I'm just going to take it on a Morphe brush here. It's not a precise blending brush it's just a really thick round brush and I'm just focusing this color out in the outer corner sorry guys I have allergies so they're really a pain in the butt and I'm deepening the outer corner with this color moving into the crease little by little next going back into the 35R palette picking up the shimmer olive shade in the palette and we're going to put this all over the lid this eyeshadow palette didn't or this eyelid color did not need any shimmer or any fix plus whatsoever um, but I definitely wanted something more that could pop so I do end up applying the, the some fix plus or some setting spray to it because I wanted it to be a little bit more vibrant and a little bit more olive green and metallic so I just spray it a little bit with my Milani setting spray and I apply that all over the lid again and I feel like it definitely made a whole lot different. Um, to me, it did. <laughs> Next, going back into the, the subculture palette, picking up the green shade called Destiny and just blending everything out in the crease, making sure it's all seamless and flawless and blended. Again, going back into the Armed and Gorgeous palette, picking up the green color, just making sure that it is there on the outer corner of the eye because we did apply the lid shade we definitely want to blend those edges out and make them a lot smoother and not so harsh you guys know the drill blend 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 now for the under eye I'm going back into the 35R palette picking up the transition color that we used and blending that underneath my lower lash line to get a nice transition color there as we built up the greens that we will also put in the lower lash line as well. Again, back into the Armed and Gorgeous palette, just picking up this green shade. And we're going to precisely run this underneath the lower lash line to add a little bit of color 
um, in the lower lash line and not make it so plain. We definitely want to add some green in there because the top of the lid is def is more green. So definitely want to incorporate that. So just running it back and forth from outer corner to inner corner on both sides. Then I'm going to take this shimmery shade here. I'm going to put that into the tear duct of my eyes. Give it a little pop in there. Make it not so naked. And I applied some falsies. And then I also sprayed with my Morphe setting spray. And that completes this look, guys. It's definitely something super easy. So that is it for today's video, guys. I really hope you all enjoyed this olive green light semi dark smoky look <laughs> that I created I really enjoyed it and finally my lashes were like okay girl we're with you today we're gonna work today and I just made this look 10 times better <sighs> I don't know guys I really hope you all enjoyed it I really was trying to go for like a green all not like an all-around green but more of the olive green is what I was going for and I like this I think it's really nice it falls around the corner at least for Arizona peeps um, it's still hot as balls outside but today is apparently the last day of summer so we'll see how that is tomorrow because in my eye in my mind when you say tomorrow's the last day of summer for an Arizonian like me I'm expecting tomorrow to be breezy no more heat you know cool weather but I'm probably gonna be disappointed when I wake up tomorrow and it's still 90 degrees I'm so over this weather but anyways guys I really hope you all enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up also my Etsy shop is linked in the bio if you would like to check that out I will see you guys in the next video bye